Silver Foxes, it's Breno and Adam bringing you this week's newsletter. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notifications bell to make sure you don't miss any important announcements. Okay, give a special thanks to our sponsors for their continued support of our school. As a reminder, students are no longer allowed to take their devices home. This is to make sure that the devices are all here at school in charge and ready for testing. These next two weeks are going to be testing weeks. The, this week on May 9th will be the SC Ready Writing Test and on May 11th the SC Ready Reading Test. Next week on May 16th is the SC Ready Math Test. On May 18th, 6th graders will take their SC Ready Science Test and select 7th and 8th graders will take the Algebra 1 EOC test on the same day. Please enjoy this video presentation created by our drama club with Ms. Zielinski. Remember, when you write your TDA for SC Ready, be sure to plan before you write. Make sure you read the questions carefully, read the passages carefully, and think about how the questions relate to the passages. Organize your ideas on scratch paper. Remember to focus while you write and be sure to proofread after you write. Who's ready for SC Ready? to highlight the key views of that support, the evidence, and the facts. Great job, Riley. Thank you. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? I'm working on the math tutorial for SC Ready, like we did in social studies. You'll be able to talk to people in the class. Great. I'm doing the same thing as well. I'm making sure to show my work. Good. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm working on the same thing Sarah is. Good. I'm rewatching the video to make sure I know how to use all the tools. Good job, th the three of you, for using the tactics we used in class. Who's ready for SC Ready Testing? Yeah! During these testing weeks, remember to get a good night's sleep and eat fulfilling and healthy breakfast. It's key to have a healthy body during this time so you can so you can do the best on these tests. Two weeks ago, the Ten Oaks Middle School Orchestra Program had a very successful Friday evening at the Solo and Ensemble Festival. We had 55 orchestra students from 6th, 7th, and 8th graders participate to give a total of 41 performances. We are happy to report that our 41 performances, 5 received ratings of excellent and 36 received ratings of superior, which is the highest rating possible for this event. In addition, 3 of those superior performances received perfect scores. They were Leah Sela for her solo, Alex and Leah Sela for their duets, and the 8th grade quintet of William Zhang, Rachel Jones, Caden Rasmond, Kyle Ribeiro, and Alex Sela. Congratulations to them and all of our orchestra students that participated. Our Tom's Band program also attended their Solo and Ensemble Festival two weeks ago. They competed in 10 events, 9 superiors, and 1 excellent. This is the first time it's been done in band since the opening of Tom's. The 6th grade band visited Carolina Forest Elementary and River Oaks Elementary for two great performances and looking forward to having their students in our band program. Last week, 10 Oaks Middle School welcomed former Olympian Zola Bud Peterson. She had a brief conversation with our 8th grade class about motivation, leadership, and commitment. The students were enthralled and captivated by what Bud had to say. Some students sang afterwards. She gave a personal insight and made a lot of great points we have never thought of. Miss Bud later mentioned to one of the teachers that she was absolutely amazed by the line of questioning the students at 10 Oaks as the that they had an outstanding level of curiosity. The students of room 206 and the rest of Tom's left today with a different perspective, one of empathy, inspiration, and curiosity. We sincerely thank Miss Zola Bud Peters for sharing her insights, knowledge, and experience with their rising math graders. Last week was Staff Appreciation Week at 10 Oaks. Every day our staff was treated to either breakfast, 
lunch provided by our PTO Student Council or Tom's administrators. Many students also showed their appreciation by bringing sweet treats for their teachers. One student, Masil Roca, even took the time to make every employee a sweet handwritten card of thanks and gratitude. What a touching sentiment! We hope that our staff feel appreciated each and every day at Turn Oaks. In observance of Mental Health Awareness Month, members of our student council also took the time to add a message of hope to the fence at the main entrance of our school on Friday of last week. The message is in green, which is the official color of Mental Health Awareness Month. We ask that students wear green this month in honor of this. Don't forget our copying good program. Students can start, still earn a silver dollar ticket each week and choose a fun prize from our prize cards, as well as being entered into our final quarterly drawing for the year to win a fabulous grand prize. prize. Tom tip of the week for May 8th to May 12th is may you not forget your manners. During this last month of school, don't forget your manners, saying please and thank you, holding the door open for a classmate, being respectful with will go a long, long way in proving your worth. This week's focus is on those students who mind their manners each and every day. For this week's lunch menu, Monday, crispy chicken chunks or Turkish chef salad with potato smalls, broccoli salad, diced peaches, and assortment of fresh fruits. Tuesday, chicken tacos and goldfish or turkey and cheese sandwich with corn, pinto beans, lettuce, and tomato, pineapples, and assortment of fresh fruits. Wednesday, cheesy bites with marinara sauce or turkey chef salad with green beans, carrots, oranges, and an assortment of fresh fruits. Thursday, smash bowl consists of chicken chunks, mashed potatoes with gravy and corn. Or, Daniel's yogurt, string cheese, blueberry muffin with steamed cabbage, pineapples, homemade roll, and an assortment of fresh fruits. Friday, cheese pizza or corn dog with garden salad, corn, applesauce, and assortment of fresh fruits. That's all for this week, Silver Foxes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any important announcements. Don't, don't forget, forget, success, nothing less. It's Breno and Adam bringing this. Yes. As a reminder, students are no longer allowed to take their Stop. devices home. You're right next to. No longer allowed to take their devices home. That's crazy. It's you, Adam. Wait, what? But that's not where we. Zola Bud Peters for sharing her insights, Bro. knowledge, and experience with our rising ninth graders. Don't forget about our cop being good program. Students can learn and cut. Feel, be quiet. Drawing for the Let's do it again. <coughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Chest pizza or a corn stick? <laughs> that is not real. That's the fakest oh. thing I've ever seen.